like Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. I'm just not sure what to think about Spider-Man. played me like a violin. I'm gonna find out why. Craven, time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. He's gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, how to beat them. And how best to set a trap. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me. For the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sold his fear and his trust. He is the good boy. Shadows. He's in the trees. We'll find him before he springs a trap. You've been a poor sport. He wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test. To see how strong you could be, you could stop it with this spilling of blood. I admit, you disappointed me. You will make your own senses betray you. Come get me, boy.
I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I study you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. You are a worthy... Come get me, fool! I'm right here! I made you flail around like a drunken sailor. You fight ghosts! Always one. True. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. It'll be hard to spot him in those trees, but I have to try. I can smell your fear. No escape! saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building. But you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. 
The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. Tag along with those trucks and see what's so important. Wait a man. Probably got drunk and pulled half the town. Put forth. You're all too. Take you. Feel like a bully. Spider Man showed once again that no crime is too small to escape his notice. Fisk has that kind of influence. I should hitch a ride on one of the trucks. See what he's up to. Gotta catch up to that car.
police vehicles stuck in traffic, Spider-Man swung into action and stopped the fleeing car. Thank <laughs> you. 